Hello, beautiful people. My name is Amanda Zitto. This is my brother, Gary. We are in Western Montana, and I'm dragging my brother along with me to the Revzilla Get On ADB Fest. Brother will be on his V-Strong, and I have wiggled my way into getting to take the Africa Twin on this trip too. I'm very excited. There's 800 miles between us and our destination. What could go wrong? It is, it is quite warm. Brother got a flat, and we're in the middle of nowhere, Wyoming. Well, update, we're outside of Helena, Montana. We had a wonderful ride here. We took this awesome road from Drummond to Helmville, which is always a blast, and then from there to Lincoln, which is also a ton of fun. Highly recommend Highway 200 always. We made it to Helena, stopped at a gas station, made a plan for what we're gonna do uh, as far as where we're gonna stay tonight. And a little hack, <laughs> the gas station we stopped at in Helena did not have public bathrooms. So we Googled public toilets and Ta da! Vault toilet here at this little fishing access. I'd never Googled toilets before. I'd never, I'd never Googled bathroom before. We were commenting about how perfect it was that we were using up Golden Hour by finding a vault toilet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Highway 12 is the most scenic way to cross central and eastern Montana's prairie country and follows the historic route of the Milwaukee Railroad that used to bring so much prosperity to this area. As we rode across the plains, the temperature climbed until we were riding in 103 degree heat. We stopped several times to re-wet our bandanas and douse our shirts in water to try and manage the heat as we went. Stay hydrated, friends. <laughs> Is it warm? A little bit. A little warm. It's a little warm. We left Townsend this morning, packed up and made some awesome miles through central Montana. We have agreed that the decision to avoid Highway 90 has been really, really awesome. We got to see some twisties that we didn't even know existed. We stopped here at the cute little cafe, had some chai and a salad and a ham and cheese melt. How was it, brother? Awesome. It was really good. It was really good. It was also a much needed break. We had some salads too and I think our bodies appreciated the greens. Just a little bit. And the cream cheese. All brother wanted was cream cheese. Cream cheese on everything. It is. It is quite warm. Quite warm. <laughs> it really makes you want to find a shady spot and just lay there and melt until like six o'clock and then start riding again. But that is not an option today. We have miles to do. That's right. Yes. 
We could do this. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Upon completion of the Milwaukee Railroad in 1910, Ingemar became a hub of commerce in the area bounded by the Missouri, Muscle Shell, and Yellowstone Rivers. From Ingemar, horses and wagons carried supplies to the settlers and brought produce back to the community. The railroad promoted the growth of the area by encouraging settlers to use the 1909 Homestead Act to stake 320-acre claims. There were an average of 2,500 homestead filings per year in this area between 1911 and 1917. Ingemar claimed the title of sheep shearing capital of North America. Two million pounds of wool a year were shipped from Ingemar during the peak years of the 1910s. A devastating fire in 1921, drought and depression have taken their toll on the area. But the original frame school building, Bookman store, and the Jersey Lily Saloon are recognized by the National Register of Historic Places. Well, beautiful people, we have made it to this wonderful little hotel in Terry, Montana, and it was very affordable at under $100 with a kitchenette. As you can see, brother is cleaning dishes because I made dinner. I don't have footage of that because it was not a very pretty dinner. We had uh, quinoa brown rice, artichoke hearts, and a packet of salmon that looked more like salmon paste because of the heat that we rode through today, which was crazy. Thankfully, towards like the second half of the day, a storm started to chase us, so we got a little bit of shade from the storm clouds. That was nice. I'm not complaining. Brother says that storm clouds aren't normally something that you really want to see when you're on a bike, but when it's 103, we were very stoked. It's a long day. It's a very long, hot day. Okay. Well, we'll see you guys in the morning. Terry is a little ranch town that sits along the Yellowstone River, with prairies to the south and rugged badlands to the north. Although the town is small, it does have the Prairie County Museum and the Cameron Gallery, which is home to a collection of photographs by Evelyn Cameron. She was a pioneer photographer who took spectacular pictures of Terry and the surrounding area during the late 19th century. For those who take the time to explore, there's a surprise just outside of town. These badlands span 44,000 acres of wilderness study area.
brother got a flat and we're in the middle of nowhere Wyoming. Well done. Yes. Yes. <laughs> There's this little piece of metal that's stuck in the tire there. At least that's what we think it is. We're gonna find out when we fill it back up with air. <laughs> The good news is that we're going to an event that should have some tires for sale. So there's that. The second thing that is still crazy to me is that we pulled out my stop and go compressor and I was devastated because it looks like it's absolutely destroyed. And I think that I broke it when I dumped the bike back in Texas and I just never noticed because I've never had to use it. I looked at it and gave up. Brother plugged it in and it works. <laughs> I think that's a hell of an endorsement for the stop and go compressor. <laughs> It's, it's impressive. <laughs> brother we have made it <laughs> we have made it to get on ABV fest here in Sturgis South Dakota I'm gonna leave you guys here we're gonna get set up set up our tent get everything settled stay tuned next week for the episodes of this awesome event that we really enjoyed last year but for now you guys I hope that you enjoyed today's video make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did Huge, huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon who make these videos possible. Also, a huge shout out to my awesome brother for being awesome and keeping a really great attitude during his first flat tire. <laughs> if you would like to support me over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month, you get early access to videos like these ad free before the rest of the world. If that's not up your alley, that is totally okay. I appreciate you guys just for being here every single week and watching these videos. And question for my end screen crew, have you ever had to deal with a flat tire on the side of the road? I'll see you guys later. Trying to get you in and me in is hard because my brother is so tall. <laughs> Stop and Victor to get ourselves a chai, but we don't have reusable cups. So we walked into the market and bought these little cute cups and walked back over to the little coffee stand and got chai. She even washed them for us. Very nice. It was very nice. Um, we're caffeinated now. Onwards. <laughs>